I joined the Boys Choir in 2001. I joined when I was about six or seven years old, grade two. I joined the choir 11 years ago. I joined the choir when I was in grade three. You start off when you when you're prep, you go on stage, you see a bunch of people in the in the crowd, and you're just you think, well, I, well, you don't want to mess up. You're worried about the mistakes. When you first started performing on stage, like I definitely, definitely had nerves. I started to not care what other people thought, and I just really enjoyed doing it, and so I stuck with it, and it definitely helped my self-confidence that way. After uh, concerts, you always have a big self-esteem boost. Everyone comes up, tells you how much they loved it. Jeannie was always really sweet, but she definitely had like an authoritative aspect to her. You kind of immediately had that reaction to her where she's like, where she's like, oh, she's kind of intimidating. So I need to listen to this woman. She's a little <laughs> scary. She's more from like this super, this figure who stands in front of you to, yeah, someone you actually communicate with and you have a relationship with. She, she takes interest in everybody's lives. She always asks how people are doing. She's a really loving figure. She wants the best for all of us. She pushes us to do our best. Even just more than more than a mom, like a friend, a colleague, a person that supports you. The friends you make are definitely long-term best friends. I mean, you have the alumni that come back, and there's always hugs all around, great comments, and Jeannie being kind of the mom, I guess we're all kind of the brothers. The trips are always great. I was always great going on the trips and spending time with the guys. Going to Ireland is something that I've always wanted to do. These choir trips allowed me to do that. My favorite memory is probably in Ishir, the island in the Ireland. We just had free reign on that island, basically. We got bikes and everything. It was so fun. The people in Ireland that came to our shows were super enthusiastic. We always ended with a traditional Irish folk song, and that just got them to stand and clap for us every single time. It was, it was a great experience. Well, we've done, we've done lots of songs. I remember in the song, we were kind of brats to each other, always competing to get better than the other. It's a big competition, that's kind of what our <laughs> lives have been. We've definitely grown as singers. Children, go where I send thee. cover of I See Fire by Ed Sheeran we did. Uh, the music video was fun to shoot. It was a really cool experience, definitely unique, and I really enjoyed doing it. And even now, it's such a cool memento from the choir that uh, it's such a cool thing to be able to show people, and this is something that we'll always have from it. Felt like a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, we were all famous for a little bit. My one favorite song that I can think of right now would be Jingalaya. 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 Every era of the Men and No gets to sing that song at least once, which is pretty awesome, actually. And it's always a crowd pleaser song. Getting to do music to the highest level, that's not something you're going to get in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Gene's worth it, the concerts are worth it. It's, it's just a really great experience that anyone would be lucky to be a part of. It's just an opportunity that I would never, ever take back. It's part of my life. It's part of why I'm in singing. It's part of who I am. I don't think it's really something, especially with who Jeannie is, that you can ever really get away from, and I don't think I ever really want to. There's nothing like it. There's nothing quite like the Grand Prairie Boys Choir.